Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to create a disco ball background using Adobe After Effects. So this is our finished result that we're going for. You can see the light kind of moves around as though it's being projected by a spherical object, and it's reflecting off of the surfaces with the same light that the surface has. So that's pretty much what we're going to be going for. <clears throat> and come into this composition that only has the footage, and here's where we're going to start creating our effect. First thing to do is to create a new black solid. And you can do that by going to the Layers menu and selecting New, Solid, or by pushing Control y And we're going to make sure that it's the same size as the composition, that the color is black, and we're going to name this Grid. And the reason is that we're going to use the Grid effect to create the basics of the, of the Disco Ball effect. So come into this Effects and Presets panel, and start typing grid and it comes up with a lot of stuff but we want the one underneath generate so let's drag that over and it doesn't look anything like a disco ball it looks like a grid but that's okay we're gonna fix that now the first thing to do is to select the layer come into this effects panel and we're going to invert the grid so we're gonna select size from the width slider so that we get a uniform size on those and I like my width right around here, so right around 80. And that's, that's a good width for the, the dots that we're going to be creating. We just need to create a little bit more space between them. So we're going to come over to this border and we're going to select 70 or so. And that may look a little small, but based on, if we make this a little bigger, you can see based on the size of the dots, that's, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So. We're going to now animate this to move across the screen. And that's going to be a little tricky because if you come down to the grid rotation, we don't want the grid transform rotation. We want this to be at about 45 degrees. And the reason is so that those dots are not one right on top of another, they're kind of offset like a disco ball would be. And you can see already that we're going to need to have to scale this layer up so that it fills the whole frame and then we need to make the size of the grid smaller again. And so right about there should be nice. To get this to animate directly across, we kind of have to animate at an angle. And I've done some hard work figuring all of this coding out, but we're going to do a little bit of coding in After Effects. If you hold down Alt or Option in a Mac and push the anchor point, it opens up the stopwatch next to the anchor point. It opens up this little drop down that lets you begin typing and coding inside of After Effects. And the code's not too complicated. It's just open breaks or open bracket time times 300 comma time times negative 300 and enter. What that will basically do is allow that to animate directly across the screen based on whatever time that you're on. So it automatically animates it for infinity at a particular speed. Now, if you want that to move quicker or slower, just put in larger or smaller numbers in place of 300. So as we watch this, it's animating across very nicely, and we're ready to move on. So select Layer, and then over here, Precompose. And we're going to type in Grid. And we want to move all of the attributes over to the new composition. Select OK. Now, the reason we did that is we're going to begin warping this effect. So select Effect, Distort, and we're going to Bulge. And this is going to allow it to look like it's being projected from a 3D object. Now we're going to want to zoom out just a little bit from this so that we can really see what we're doing. And we're going to make this bulge area quite a bit bigger so that it fills the entire frame. And we want this instead of going out toward us, we want it to go in away from us. So underneath Bulge Height we're going to set a negative value something around uh, just under 1, maybe 1 1.2. And you can see it's now well out of frame, so we're going to have to scale the entire layer up so that it fills the frame again, and then we need to move the bulge back down so that it's just outside the frame. So it's a lot of, a lot of back and forth playing with this till you get it just right. We're also going to taper that radius up quite a bit, and you can see it's giving us a, a kind of a nicer effect especially around the middle area. And as we move through the timeline now, it looks like it's being projected from a 3D ball, which is perfect.
exactly what we want. The only thing we need to really do is now put a little bit of blur onto it. So let's go underneath blur and sharpen, fast blur, and we're going to blur those, those squares out until they're perfectly round. And that looks pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty good roundness to those. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm Josiah Ray.